Mr. Swenson, how Hi. are you? I'm good, Gail. How are you? Oh, well, 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 what's with this? <laughs> you like our new digs? Yeah, new filming. Uh, I won't call it a studio. We don't do anything in a studio around here. Just no. a new environment. Totally. Yeah. I love this. Well, yeah, the gear. I love it. Hey, it's us. It's what we're all about. Did you make that by hand? I did. I knew it. I did not. I, knew <laughs> <laughs> I did not. But a metal worker. Yep. Did that I, I've been working with, and he'd be happy to know that he's being called out a little bit. I love it. Yeah, it's real nice. I love it. It's classy and robust. You know what? There's another young man down in, uh, I believe he's in Florida, that likes to look at our videos. Just saying, this one's for you. Okay. All right. So what do we got here? We got the Jura Impreza C60. Something new. Something new. Mm -hmm. Something, something new. new and yet something old. It kind of resembles some of their other machines. Mm-hmm. Um, just a couple of specs on it. Uh, we have a 64 ounce water tank over here. Yep. Very nice. Uh, we Takes have a, our, yep. the water filter, which we don't have in there right now. Exactly. And it's got this cool little thing to let you know where you were at when you installed the water filter. Yep. Um, this water... S senses it's out. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Let's you know. Yep. Um, this is going to a stainless steel thermoblock style boiler. Cool, y'all. Um, which is very nice. It's uh, Jura's got their patented thermoblock style boiler. It's mm -hmm. very. It's known for making very hot coffee. <coughs> um, Excuse me. We have our cup warmer up here, as you can see. Yeah, it's just uh, passive from the boiler. Or is it active? It's passive. Yeah, There's no figured. separate heating element for that. Yeah. So in other words, you couldn't turn it on and off if you didn't like it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We have our pre-ground chute here. If you want to do pre-ground, which is very nice. Oh, wow. Anybody at home? <laughs> Nobody's home in there. No one's home. Yeah. We don't want to do pre-ground anyway. No. No. Mm -mm. And then we have our bean hopper over here. Uh, seven ounces. And one of the cool things is, is we have this, this additional lid here to kind of keep your beans fresh. Cool. Which is very nice. All right. Um, I think a lot of people worry about that when they put a lot of beans in there. They don't want it to, you know, go stale or anything What's like that. What's the whole about a half a pound? Uh, seven ounces. Yeah. Good. So yeah, I, I would say you'd probably use those up in three days. Mm -hmm. Well, depending on your depending family. on how much you like coffee, that would last yeah. me five minutes. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Brendan, then, you have a problem. Put that in the break room and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Done. The adjustments right back here, mm -hmm. and that's going to uh, stainless steel conical burrs. Cool. Um, so that's kind of the guts of the machine. Mm -hmm. um, we have an adjustable dispenser here, which is very nice. A double, I mm -hmm. see, like they all have. We have our auto frother over here with uh, our, our nice hose that we'll be using in a little bit here. So this machine, you can't use a conventional steam arm on it? No, you can't manually steam it. You right, cannot. so you have to use the, the mm -hmm. one touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, well, we should just jump right into the, the selector dial over here. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if you want to go into programming to get in the menu, you just hold this down. And eventually, so right now we're kind of in the rinse part of the menu. You could and, change that. Yeah, and we can change all these Ooh. things over here. There's the filter, um, the hardness, so you can tell your machine what kind of water you're doing. Energy um, saver mode. Yep, exactly. Um, off. For, oh, timer. must have a clock. Yeah. Woohoo! So there is an auto, um, this might not be the same thing, but there is an auto shutoff with this. Oh, and, and I you, see. And you can program that in terms of the amount of time here you, you want. Here you go. 30 minutes. Yeah, and, and it goes one to one hour. hour. And then I think it even goes more. Yeah, two, two hours, hours. Three hours. I four. think the thing, actually, the man, manual when I was reading it, it goes up to 15 hours. Oh my I, gosh, let's cut to the chase here. Yeah, yeah 15 yeah, there it is. hours. 15 hours. And then back to 15 minutes. <laughs> yep. That's a big difference. Wow. Okay, so we'll have it come off after I don't know, a couple hours. One there, hour. we there we Perfect. go. Perfect. Let and me then you got, you go. What else we got? Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, I think from, the temperature so, is in here too. There's the display. Um, but you can, Language. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, there's exit. But exit. I'm, Let's go into buttons. Espresso. Oh, there we go. I okay. Think, I think temperature is in here. Volume. There you go. So you can select. Two, oh, nice. And this is all stuff you can do on the fly as well. So it's programmable. But as soon as we pull the shot and it's doing the grinding and stuff like that, we can select the dosage. Up or and, down. And, and the, the volume of the shot that That's you want. That's a typical Jura feature. Yeah. yeah. Which is very nice. Okay, two ounces. We're good with that. The only thing you can't select on the fly is the temperature. So if you wanted to right. change the temperature of your of your shot, then you would have to do this uh, in the menu. It's, it's here somewhere. We'll see Whoops. it. Whoops. Oh, we made it strong. That's Straight. good. Let's go in there again. X. Oh, I see. You keep punching it. Okay, we're going to just... Yep. Yeah. Extra, mild, and normal. We, extra. Yeah, we're, we're not going mild or normal. Okay. 
And then what what was the other thing? There it temperature. Is, temp. There we go. High. And I think it's just high and normal. normal. That's typical of what they have as well. Got it. High. We'll leave it at high. Okay, that's nice. So to get out of the programming mode, we go to exit, I guess. Yeah, and I think you can actually just hold on to the P again too. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So that's good. Good. And now we're, we're back, back to uh, ready. Perfect. We're back to our regular mode. And if we want to get into steam, we hold this here, and it will tell you steam, and it's heating up right now. So that's good Getting to know. Ready. Um, and then there's also, now we're back in the regular mode. Mm -hmm. um, there's also an indicator light here if you need to do any maintenance. So like oh, if nice. something needs to happen. Your filter in that. Exactly. It will let you know. Descaling. If you need to ship does it, it to Jura. Does it got a little door down here? Sure does. Well, there's, I think this is for the other machine. Um, yeah. There's the C60 and the C65. Oh, gotcha. So this is not Ow. the C65. That thing bit me. Jeez. But <laughs> let, let's go ahead and show off the, the drip tray. Yep. Which is always very elaborate with Jura. Here. So we have a lot of different pe Three uh, pieces. Three pieces. Yep. Then we got our grate Four. here, so it's very nice. Stainless steel. Yep, the grates are always really heavy, which is nice. They don't yep. go cheap there. No, they don't. And then we have our dredge box. Yep. There we go. We're good. Okay. Chua. Good. Yeah, good. So um, over here, tell me about this side. Well, right here we have, it's, it's actually on coffee, and if we wanted to do hot water, we can just put this here right now. I'll dump it in the drip tray. You go like that. You yep. just don't choose steam over here. If exactly. you choose steam, you're going to get steam. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. We put it back and we're good to go. Good. All righty. So yeah, dump that. Oh, right on the floor. Right on. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. <laughs> That's all right. Not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Not we want to make. Remember the day we spilled the whole, I spilled the whole cup of coffee all over the countertop. That was so funny. Still haven't seen that one. <laughs> uh, what are we going to make? A uh, cappuccino. Perfect. Okay, let's do it here and get this selected to not ground espresso. Ready? I'm ready. Then while that's doing that, we can do this. Hook her up. I think this just, where is it? That comes out, you got a little clip. Yep. We'll put this right here. That looks a little different than the old ones. Mm -hmm. This little portion here looks different to me. I see. Something new. Hm. Yeah. Okay. They're always thinking of Jura. Yep. So if you wanted to change the C, you can change this. I can change exactly, the Exactly, right on the fly, which is pretty cool. Yes, it is. Okay, so I got this over here in our milk. And I think this kind of, yeah, if we want to, we can do that. Oh. Hmm. What do you think of that? Look at that. Looky there. That's pretty close, though. Okay. Now we're ready for steam. Mm -hmm. Heating up, and then we'll tell us when it's okay. And then you just turn the knob? I think, yeah, we'll tell us when it's ready, and then I'll, I believe we'll just hit this button. Turn it over to steam, I would think. No? Oh. Yeah. Let's see. I think. It's still heating up. Mm-hmm. So what's new? There we, there we go. So this light did come on. I think okay. you're right. Let's do that. Yeah. You're so smart, Gail. I don't know about that, Brendan. This is a good time to do your... Your latte art. Oh, yeah. Jeez, almost missed out. That looks like a Seattle Coffee Gear uh, gear, the bean. I just can't go over far enough to do what I want. <laughs> I think that's enough steam. Sure, blame it blame it on the machine, Gail. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Wow. That's the, that is no art. That's That looks great, I think. It looks good, though. I Here can see go. the state of Washington there. Can't you see that? Yeah, you're right. Puget Sound, right there. <laughs> okay. How about it? Let's see. I'm always the guinea pig. It feels hot. I'm happy to be that guinea pig. <laughs> I'm sure. Is it hot? Is it hot? It's very, very hot. Is it good, good, good? It's very, very good. Good. Mm hmm You're up. Your turn. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. See you later. <laughs> I got to go get a donut. <laughs> There We're are not, some donuts somewhere in this building, isn't there? Or always, the other buildings? <laughs> always. Always somewhere. They're always trying to mm. get us. Yeah, that's really good. Nummy. Especially considering how much time it took. Does it come in any other colors or just the black? I'm pretty sure only black. Probably. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, I mean, some of the, the pros I have for this, um, let me think. Well, the, I like the programmable auto shut off because who knows what you're doing in your home. Oh, for sure. You know, and the, and the variety yep. there is very nice. Yep. 
Um, and I think the biggest pro with this is its price. It's it's pretty cheap considering what it mm -hmm. can do. Uh, right? I would say that's one of the pros too. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just also a very simple layout. You know, there's not, you know, this can sit on your countertop and kind of just, it's black and mm -hmm. it can sit in the corner and that kind of be out of the way and it looks classy. Yeah, it's uh, nice looking. I think Jura, it's a very- All Jura machines are really nice looking. They do a nice uh, job on their fit and finish. Totally, mm -hmm. I agree. And just one of the cons I had was it's kind of a bigger machine. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of takes a big footprint. But yeah. I mean, it's a super automatic. Exactly. But that's really the only con I have. And of course, I'm a technician. I always like access to the brie unit. I'm going to say that on every single chair. <laughs> Let's get this out of yeah, the way. Yeah. And, but that's really the only, those are the only two things I have. I really, but really having like, said that, yeah. <laughs> if you do the maintenance on it like yeah. you're supposed to, the brie unit is not a problem. Have we ever heard anything about that at Seattle Coffee Gear? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think I have either. Yeah. But it's just, you know, peace mm -hmm. of mind for me. You yeah. Know? We want your mind to be at peace. <laughs> It's a well, good machine. I yeah. like it a lot. Well, thank you so much for taking me through this one. You know, this is my first look at this machine. I hadn't mm -hmm. seen it before, so it's good to know. I like some of the features on it. I like that it will auto shut off. I like that you can program uh, the different uh, volumes and the temperature on this. Some of the uh, other ones, you couldn't do that. Some mm -hmm. of the lower end euros, but this one's nice. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Thanks yep. a lot. Thank you, Gail.